Welcome back to the Ghost Key. I am Gray, and today we're gonna get started on Viridian City Gym. It is the eighth and final gym, and good old What's His Nuts is at the top. You know who I'm talking about. Mm hmm. It's it's that guy. That that guy. I'm gonna actually see what kind of Pokemon you have, good sir. At the crack of my whip. Okay, that sounds like something that may not be appropriate for children. If you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. That's right. Yep. That's what I'm talking about. That's okay, we're just gonna stir fun. Go ahead and intimidate me all you want, because I ain't scared. Now I am though. Didn't drop my D like that, fuck that. I'm scared now. Uh ooh, that wasn't so bad. Oh, that's so bad. What do I want to do about this thing? I really don't know what to do. Um, because Dirt Machine and Cranker aren't really set up for this asshole. Mm. I'm just going to tough it out and surf again. And he used Glare. Wonderful, wonderful. Now I'm paralyzed. Of course, I'm paralyzed. When am I not paralyzed? And shit, right? Alright. Jesus. He's got a Tauros. He's got a fucking Tauros. Mm, one of those would be so fun to use. Tauros is awesome. Tauros is awesome. Mm. Tauros is a lot of fun. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Oh, shit. I got Intimidate. That bastard. Corrupted Chop. Remember that movie? Come on, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Well, that's fucked up though. It's probably the people, most of the people that are probably watching this. Probably don't know what that movie's for. What, what movie that is. Oh, fuck you, guy. Yeah, that's right. Sit down. Tortoise. Double spanked him there. See what I did there? Yeah, that's right. Ouch. Whiplash. Um. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I have a feeling this guy. This guy. Okay, this guy, this guy, this guy. Actually, we can switch it up and get this guy some experience. Right? Oh, I wanna, I wanna cure this guy real quick. I wanna cure. Who got uh Oh god, we don't wanna use that protein. I hate how you get that shit so late in the game. Cause it won't let you use that shit if you're whatever the fuck it is, IVs or whatever. Or EVs are over a certain value. So it's like why do I have this if I can't use it? Especially when you're getting it late in the game, like I don't have it I can't use it anymore because all the EVs are over whatever, you know? It's like, what's, what's the whole goddamn point in this shit? But anyway, let's use Aerial Ace. Let's see how, the, let's see how well this works. Because in my mind, it was going to be like, oh, he could fuck shit up. Now, that was not necessarily too bad, but I wasn't there. It's, his defense failed him there. Really, the whole idea behind him is to just just fuck shit up. That's really all there is to it. That's that's all that's all fucking Granker can do is fuck shit up and if he doesn't fuck shit up right away he's pretty much gonna be gone. Um which means potentially bad things. Which means like I said we're gonna have to find a way to level him up a little bit, especially for the Elite Four. He's gonna have to be at least on par with levels. As far as I'm concerned, that if I have to say there's a weakness in our team, I don't want to be mean, but I have to say it's that's it. Man, there's a shit ton of trainers in here. Good deal. So what were these guys doing? You know, when when their leader wasn't here, and and, and I have a question here. Do these guys get paid? I mean, I think that's a perfectly legit question, don't you think? I mean, do these guys... Oh shit, I fucked that up. Oh good, you used Slash. 
Much appreciated. Don't use EQ or anything like that, please. You can stand and attack, although watch, watch is not fucking hit nothing now. Oh. Go, go, go. Get that, get that, look at that, look at that shit, motherfucker. Alright. Ranker's level 40 now. Yay! Stuff. Netterino. Oh. You ground and poison yet. This is like the one thing that I really have no. Oh, fuck. Nope. I don't like that shit at all. Yeah, of course. Now you start missing shit. Ah. Uh, I get dirt machine. Get up there and save the day or something. Yeah, you take that shit like a good little bitch. All right, I'm just gonna put you in rocks or something. I don't know. Build you a nice little house out of rocks. Now you can't get out of your little house because you're stuck. You're too fat and too purple. No one likes a purple rat. That's kind of what it looks like. I'm not even wrong. That's cute, but this guy is an asshole. I'm just saying, and I'm and I'm afraid to use. Ah, uh, you are the biggest prick on the planet. Ah, uh, well, there goes nothing, I guess. I'm afraid of poison points. You know how that thing likes to proc every time we fucking. Stand upwind from anything that's poison, right? And uh, fuck you, asshole! Yay! The dirt machine is 39. All right, sand slash. Yes, let's switch. I mean, you're just gonna throw experience at us like this. Yeah, we're gonna take that. We're gonna take that shit. Cause that's that. That's okay. We need lots of training. This is one thing that I really hope, I really hope they do. Um, I'm not sure if they're going to do it, because I haven't really looked into it much. But the secret bases thing that they're doing in, um, in Omega Ruby and Anal Sapphire. I know that's not the name, I'm just fucking around. Um, I'm really hoping that... Um, fuck, I forgot about that again. God damn it, you just... I'm really hoping that with the secret base thing and, you know, they say, Oh, you can have your own gym. Fuck! So close to killing that goddamn thing. How much you want to bet he's got another fucking super potion? I know this potion up to, but, um, the, the secret base thing and how they said that, Oh, you can have your own gym or whatever and have your friends come and challenge you. I would really, really hope that you get experience for it. That's what I want. You know, to give you something that, like if you get like a dojo, like I said, I called it a dojo because it was pretty much what we what we fought in whatever fucking city it was, Celadon or whatever, with the Sylph building just before just before we did the Sylph shit. That sort of thing is what, in my mind, would be fucking great because then you get to just have. Like I said, you know, your friends or your little entourage, like in Gen 6, you know, you could have them come to your gym and work out, you know, practice, fight, whatever. I mean, they do it in the fucking show, why can't we do it in the fucking game and get experience for it? That's how they were training their Pokemon, too. Which I think is a great and novel idea, instead of having to go through and fight these things, and also fighting things in the wild, like, I'm sorry, but like, it, it doesn't make any sense to me in Pokemon to level your Pokemon by going out into the bush and beating up on wild animals. That, considering you're supposed to, you know, you, you know, be all into, like, loving and taking care of your Pokemon and shit like that, and you're supposed to do all those things and be a good trainer and take good care of them and love them and feed them right and all that shit and breed them and stuff, and yet, in order to make yours better, you go out into the wild and beat up on ones that don't have trainers. That doesn't make sense to me. That, that's count like that's that's the antithesis of, in my mind, that's the antithesis of what you're supposed to be doing in Pokemon. You know, raising a Pokemon and battling them is just one of the things you do just for the shit of it, I guess. 
but I don't know. That's just how I feel about it. And a dojo or something like that, to me, makes a lot more sense in the world of Pokemon because, you know, I'm sorry, that's like saying, oh yeah, you're, you can go ahead and have a cat. But in order to grow and have a better bond with your cat, instead of taking good care of it, you know, petting it, cuddling with it, and all that good shit that cats do, you take it outside and go have it attack squirrels and shit. And that, it's like, oh yeah, that really strengthens the bond between you and your cat. Now you got a vicious, bloodthirsty animal on the end of your leash. And, and, and yeah, I mean, yeah, like I said, it's just weird, as far as I'm concerned. But I, I am interested to see how it turns out, and I will, I don't know if I'll like record any things like that. I mean, there's actually going to be a lot that I probably won't record in that game. Um, but I, I, I will explore shit like that just to see what it's all about. Like I said, I may or may not put that on the video, I don't know, probably not. Just because you know, it's one of those things that's kind of boring, and you know you want to see you know shit like this, right? Oh, and you will have to deal with me. Just so you know, you will have to deal with me, like walking around and talking to every single person, because that's what I do. I'm not gonna lie, that's 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 what I do. When I first play these things, I just go around and talk to every person because, especially in Gen Six, like yeah, funny story. Uh, Fuck, it was like a few months ago, it wasn't even that long ago, like I was talking to my girlfriend and she had a Mega Gengar and shit, and I was like, how the fuck did you get that? And then, shortly thereafter, I was playing through, fuck, what was I playing through? Hey, look at these fucking involving. Time for a seizure. I was playing through, I think I was playing through Y again or some shit like that. Um, and she was playing through X again. And, well, as I was, I stumbled across Gengarite. And somehow I didn't get it on my... Actually, I have two copies of Y, by the way. I didn't even realize it. Fucking Omastar, fucking yeah! Get one of these motherfuckers. Spike Cannon. What the fuck is Spike Cannon? I don't know what Spike Cannon is. But it sounds badass. But it actually sucks ass. Fuck. 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 You know what? Let's just get rid of Water Gun. I'll, I'll take a look later. I don't, I'm pretty sure it's like some physical crap that is crap on him. But I'll go take a look at it later and, and uh, you know, do do that sort of shit. Um, but anyway. Actually, this has been a long ass episode. And I see a shit ton of trainers still. So, I'm going to end this episode like literally right here. Anyhow, um... If you made it this far on YouTube, you know what to do. Thanks a lot for watching. Remember, pants are optional.